and good morning dear friends i hope you're doing well and uh, today we will continue with what we have been doing for a while and the word of god is so comforting for so many of us and i want us to reason and contemplate on the word of god today we have the topic grace of god and let's read the passage and we thank Jesus for this community and for the opportunity to meditate on your word together and please bless us and show us your mercy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places of Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Visions chapter 2, 4 to 10. Strength, rest, guidance, grace, help, sympathy, love, all from God to us. What a list of blessings! Strength, rest, guidance, grace, help, sympathy, love. All from God to us, what a list of blessing. And another one. Grace means that God already loves us. As much as an infinite God can possibly love. So let's meditate on those verses and see what God wants to tell us in the ages to come God might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand we would walk in them. He loved us, made us alive together with Christ, raised us up with Him, and seated us with Him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus says three times everything happens to us in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus for good works so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, made us alive together with Christ, raised us up with him in Christ Jesus. We have been saved in Christ Jesus through faith. It is the gift of God 
and what else? Strength, race, guidance, grace, help, sympathy, love, all from God to us. What a list of blessings, love, help, sympathy, rest, guidance, strength, strength, rest, guidance, grace, help, sympathy, love. In Christ Jesus, grace means that. God already loves us as much as an infinite God can possibly love in Christ Jesus. So who is God according to this passage? God is rich in mercy. He has great love. He loves us. He made us alive together with Christ. He raised us up with Him. He seated us with Him where in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. What is the purpose? So that in the ages to come He might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. We thank you God for Christ Jesus and for the heavenly places and for your surpassing riches of your grace and kindness toward us. I apologize for the background noises. Um, on my German speaking channel I have prepared some images because I'm reading there the word of God and let's um, let me show you the images and let me repeat the words of God that we just read God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our transgressions made us alive he made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved and um, by grace you have been saved through faith each and every one of you and we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works and um, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them and raise us up with him and seated us with him in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus, He gave us strength, grace, guidance, grace, help, sympathy, and love. We thank you, Lord.
for this passage today. Please bless everyone who is present and we thank you for your love, grace and mercy. Amen.